And we are here in Beirut tonight as this region and the world now awaits potential action against Syria after that horrific chemical attack here. President Trump in the last 24 hours warning that missiles, nice, new and smart, were coming. And then late today, the president meeting with his national security team. Just about 90 miles from here, the site of that suspected chemical attack in Douma, Syria, that has the U.S. now working with its allies, Britain and France. Today, the president holding that meeting and afterward a more cautious tone from the White House saying no final decision has been made. But what is clear tonight is the president is preparing to make that decision and soon. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off. Shortly after President Trump met with his national security team, the White House declared there has been no decision yet on military action in Syria. This morning, the president said the decision would be coming fairly soon. We'll see what happens, folks. We'll see what happens. It's too bad that uh, the world puts us in a position like that. It's a starkly different tone from the president. Just 24 hours earlier, he made it sound like an attack on Syria was about to happen, tweeting a warning about U.S. missiles to Syria's most important ally. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming nice and new and smart. That tweet was widely criticized as directly contradicting the president's repeated insistence that a military strike must be kept secret until it happens. Militarily, I don't like to say where I'm going and what I'm doing. Whatever happened to the element of surprise? This morning, the president clarified, never said when an attack on Syria would take place. Could be very soon or not so soon at all. And that was Defense Secretary Mattis's message to Congress today. Today, our president did say that he's not made a decision. But with his national security team focused on Syria, our camera spotted another guest leaving the White House, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who oversees the special counsel investigation. Turns out he met with President Trump today, too. The White House called it a routine meeting. But Rosenstein is increasingly under fire from the president and his allies. Former Chief White House strategist Steve Bannon and other Trump supporters are leading a public campaign to get Rosenstein fired. So should he fire Rosenstein? Oh, I would fire Rosenstein in a New York minute without any question. And John Carl with us tonight live from the White House. And John, the president balancing that increasing heat from Robert Mueller, of course, with this international crisis at the same time. And just a short time ago, the White House press secretary saying no final decision has been made. David, there is no doubt that the national security team here is gearing up for action on Syria, but the White House says no decision has been made. They are still assessing the intelligence and coordinating with our allies. In fact, tonight the president has spoken with British Prime Minister Theresa May, and we're told he also plans to talk to French President Macron as well.